these future technologies that are going to be used for e evil, there's going to be a lot of wonderful things that they can be used for too. But it's it's what's the end game of these things? Um, but e and speaking of the end game, Elon Musk has 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 absolutely made it abundantly clear that the overall ambition of Neuralink is to achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence. That's what he he has he's been on the record saying that that the, as, as technology exactly. A, a, a truly a, a transhuman race, uh, you know, taking the word trans to a, a whole new level, right? <laughs> and you know, it's just like becoming one with with something else, just like it was in in Genesis chapter six, uh, whenever they merged with those, you know, spiritual beings. The sons of God came and down, come down, you know, taking the daughters of Eve by by force. And what's so terrifying about this is, I remember sitting. Um, listening to my former boss right and he had just gotten back from barcelona spain with two other guys on the team and they were sitting there and listening to masa yoshi son okay and he goes back and forth as the first or second richest man in all of japan very very prominent figure very wealthy uh he actually for many many years and uh has owned and he actually still at this moment owns a company called arm a r m ARM designs the architecture behind chips in telephones. And, it and so he owned every single chip in 99.9% .9 of all phones. And I say that point one because there was this some Damn. really weird off-brand phone that no one had ever even heard of that didn't happen to have this chip. So very, very successful man. I and mean, he works with the Saudi Arabian government, has one particular fund called the Vision Fund with over $100 billion into it, primarily coming from the Saudi Arabian government with the sole purpose of investing into AI um, to achieve the singularity, as they call it. And so he's speaking in Barcelona, Spain, and he is saying that at the current rate that technology is advancing, current artificial intelligence will be equal to that of man by the year 2029. That's eight years away. That's a lot of advancement in eight years. Now, what I mean by that of equal of man, I, well, I mean, my goodness, Google is a lot smarter than me right now. You know, I, I don't know a question. I, I, I ask the search engine, right? It pops up. So it's smarter than me. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about artificial intelligence, being able to think, to, to reason, to create, to uh, advance, to grow that like a human being, yeah. something that the world by has themselves. never seen that we know of. Yeah. By themselves. Growing by, by itself. In other words, taking over its own mind and then developing itself beyond its creator's ability. That's right. That's and insane. not only Masayoshi Son, not only Elon Musk, not only Ray Kurzweil, and I talk about these billionaires because the billionaires, they do control the world. Yes, they they do, do set the course. I mean, God is sovereign over all. And I understand that, but it's the billionaires that that move this this world into the, the, the to the demonic pool, right? I mean, think about Google, think about Facebook, think about these other yeah. entities. And so, Masha Yoshi's son is twenty twenty nine, equal to that of man. But then he says, and, and this is the general consensus with the technology futurists, that around the year twenty forty, that AI will achieve that of the singularity, and and that is whenever the intelligence far surpasses that of a human. And um, for example, Albert Einstein might have had an IQ around 200. Masayoshi son in Barcelona, Spain was saying in this day that AI would have an intelligence of around 10,000. It's referred to as super intelligence, the type of intelligence that human beings worship. Okay. And I believe that that is what they will do. Oh one day and he was saying that everything you see uh, right now there's like seven or eight billion um, chips in the world that can collect and transfer data he said uh, by the year 2040 he believes that there's going to be around one trillion chips in the world um, which would allow every single person in the world to have over 100 connected devices to the internet oh and he goes and in that day of super intelligence you will have chips within even your shoes and you with an individual of a iq of 130 if you're lucky will be stepping on super intelligence but the the in this time of complete connectivity it's called there will be chips in everything being able to collect data and analyze it in real time and send it to something that these people at these major conferences were calling a global brain. How ominous of a word. 
is that sending it to a global brain and it's good we're going to be able to connect the entire world because people like elon musk and one world summit are are creating and sending something called leo satellites into space and these yeah. satellites are literally creating a web around the entire globe the entire for world. the connected devices to be able to send the information to a global brain and and there will be someone or an entity that will know what is happening throughout the entire world basically in real time it'll be an absolutely unbelievable world and just